Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install a dedicated headless server of Palworld on Linux. Are you ready? Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. There is many ways you can host a dedicated server for Palworld, but I do believe that the best way to host this type of server is on a dedicated virtual machine on your local network, for example, or a dedicated like virtual machine or even a dedicated server outside on one of those, you know, server uh, provider where you live. So you could, for example, like rent a server for like uh, $15 a month and have this public IP available 24 hours on 24. You don't need to run everything uh, locally. You don't need to have your own PC up and running to have the server living by itself. And like that, you and your community or your friends, they can just take advantage of the server uh, without you getting bothered at all. So this is what I'm going to show you in this video. So for this specific tutorial, what I'm going to do, I'm going to install it here on a fresh Debian virtual machine and to be super clear i just installed it it's super fresh there is nothing specific on it the recommendation for the dedicated server coming directly uh, from the developer of pal world are at least a four core cpu and eight gigabyte of ram that's all you need i choose debian because to me this is the best stable uh, distro out there for uh, running this type of service and um, yeah yeah that's all also i'm going to put a link in the description below uh, to my github where i will put all the different instructions and if in the future because the game is in beta mode right now or early access whatever you want to call it well um, if some of those specific command line change I'm going to upgrade them on the GitHub. So don't hesitate to go there to check if you see this video uh, way, way later after I publish it. Everything should be still up to date. Now let's go deep into it. So again, I'm assuming you have your server up and running with Debian install and uh, SSH access. So we're going to start from there. I'm opening this terminal here. I'm going to SSH as root on the server. So this is the user and this is the IP address of my server. I might be doing it a little bit bigger for you guys. I'm logging in. It's going to ask me the password. Boom. We are now on the server. Name is uh, root at uh, pal world uh, server here. First thing first, what we're going to do, we're going to make sure the install is up to date. So we're going to do an IPG update and uh, IPG dist, dist upgrade. Okay, so we have some file to upgrade. No problem. Here you answer yes. It's going to do its thing. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to install all the dependency and uh, the special like application called Steam command to run uh, the server of PAL world on this machine. So you copy and paste those lines and then you tap yes. It's going to install everything. I won't go too much into detail about all the package I decide to install because <laughs> this video is going to be 45 minutes long overall. So at a certain point, it's going to ask you like adding component from NOM3 and you, you press enter. Yes. Here again, it's going to ask you if you want to install more and you said yes, because this is important. This is for installing uh, uh, steam command yes you see it's here steam command that's the application so yes so here you have an agreement so what you're going to do you're going to go you're going to click on ok you have to press tab there enter then you go on i agree enter boom this is done then you need to install sudo boom install now I'm going to create an user called Steam. And this is important because you can't run the dedicated server as root. This is not uh, really safe. 
So you're going to copy and pass those commands. It's going to ask you uh, a new password. So here you type a password. Your own password, whatever you want. Now it's done. Okay, so we're going to start fresh. Now I'm going to become uh, the Steam user right now by using this command. And I'm going to go inside the home folder of the Steam user. Okay, so now you can see if you did it correctly, you should have written like um, Steam here instead of root. Uh, somehow, hmm, okay, so cd slash home Steam. Okay, so now we are in the current uh, and good folder here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to install all the files for running the dedicated server. So to do that, I'm going to use the application I installed before Steam CMD here. And I'm going to press enter. So this might be a little bit long because he has to download everything and then he has to verify the file. So I might have to accelerate it a little bit because I don't know how fast it's going to go for the video. But what you do there, you just let it go and it's going to download everything and install everything. All right, so now it's installed. You should have this message here telling you like success. Application, blah, 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 fully installed. There is two command line. You're going to have to type there to make sure that you reduce the number of errors within the launch of the game. So again, like this game is in early access. And I think uh, their uh, server executable here is not well finished yet. And to make sure you will avoid like any type of like crazy error when you start the server, you're going to have to add those lines there. So it's nothing crazy. Don't be worried. It's just making some type of link uh, between some of the uh, repertory for you. And I noticed by adding them, you will have way less, well, way, way less error uh, when you start the server. So now we have everything installed. We need to launch the server once for it to create all the configuration file. And then we're going to modify them, but you need to start it once. So to start the server, you need to go in the right folder, this one. And when you are in this folder, you need to launch this command line here, super important. So you could launch the command line just like dot slash palserver.sh. But in their wiki, they say that you need to use those uh, extra arguments to uh, really make sure you, you take advantage of the four core. So we're going to start it. And boom, it's OK. Everything started. And even if you see some of the, you know, like S underscore API fails there, the server is up and running right now. But this is not what is important because I'm going to show you how to update and how to change the name and all the setting from the server with a config file. So to stop the server here, you need to stop the application and you type control plus C. You wait and it's going to end up by himself. OK, so now it's done. And what we're going to do now, I'm going to copy uh, the default PAL world settings into the specific config file. So you copy that. So you're going to have all the different commands on my uh, GitHub. But when it's done, we're going to go and edit this file. And you see this file is really like, I would say weird, but you're going to get it. This big line here is giving like all the different like settings for the server. So what you do here, you will press the end key on your keyboard to go at the end. And then you will go back there, OK? Because you will see it's going to be way easier. You're going to have the public IP setting. So if you are running uh, a server which is like directly open to the world with a public IP address, you should type the public IP address there. Me, I won't because it's on my home lab. So I don't need to do that. Here, this is a port. Uh, I wouldn't advise to change it. Here, you can set up a server password. But this is kind of like in beta for the moment, especially if you are running it on the home lab. Uh, I will let it like that. Um, then you have here 
is the server description. Okay, so here I'm gonna type PAL World Tutorial. Okay, PAL World Server Tutorial. In here, I'm gonna change the default server name. I'm gonna change it to Best PAL World Linux Tuto. For example, okay. Now I'm going to save this file and I'm going to get out. So now I'm going to start the server itself. So here I'm going to copy and paste the latest command and I'm going to press enter. Now the server is on, I'm going to launch the game. Here we go. You're going to go and join multiplayer game. So if you configure everything well with the config file, you should type your server name here and it should appear. Now, if you are like me and you are running it on uh, your home like network, what you're gonna do at the bottom here, you're gonna type the address of your server. And honestly, like if you also like don't see your home, your server there, even if you have hosting it somewhere else, just type the IP address down there and it should be fine. So I'm gonna click on connect after typing the address. And voila, your server is up and running. So I'm going to start with this guy. Uh, yes. So what I notice is that the first time you spawn, your character is going to be a little bit jumpy. I don't know why. So what are we going to spawn? Um, yeah, let's spawn here, for, for example. Yeah, and voila. So just to make sure, escape. And here you're going to have all the different settings of your server. And as you can see, best PAL world Linux tuto. Number of players. This is your ping. And if you go down there, you're going to have the special like mention I put there, PAL world server tutorial. And that's all, guys. Simple as that. Well, I was pretty dope, huh? Now you can see you, you can install a, a dedicated headless server of PAL World in less than 10 minutes. Easy as that. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you got anything out of this video, please give a thumb up. I also have a Patreon. It will be really helpful if you want to support me financially. Uh, guys, thank you again for watching. Thanks for all the members of the community uh, which are helping me one way or another by sharing those videos, putting a thumbs up, watching the video, but also like uh, becoming a member of my community and supporting me financially through YouTube or Patreon. Guys, you are the best. Uh, that's it. That's all. Enjoy the game and see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.